Page 4. Unit 1. Vacation. Lesson 1. Activities. A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Act in a play. 2. Learn how to dive. 3. Ride a roller coaster. 4. Read a lot of books. 5. Win a competition. 6. Sleep late. Page 4. B. Listen and find. Then talk about the picture. Danny, it's 10 o'clock. When are you going to wake up? I'm tired, Mom. Can I sleep late? Don't you have a soccer game this morning? Oh, that's right. It's at 11 o'clock. Thanks, Mom. I learned how to swim when I was younger. Now I'm learning how to dive. That's my swimming teacher. Great job, Carla. You win the reading competition. Thanks, Miss Jackson. I read a lot of books, and I learned a lot. What was your favorite book? I read a good one about sculpture. I want to be an artist when I grow up. I'm going to act in a play at school. Will you practice with me? Sure. Who are you going to be in the play? I'm going to be the doctor. I say, this man is very sick. He needs to go to the hospital. That's cool. I want to be an actor, too. Whee! Riding a roller coaster is fun. I like the slower rides. This is too fast. This is my favorite ride at the amusement park. I want to go faster. Page 5. C. Listen and say. Then practice. He acted in a play when he was on vacation. Act. Acted. Learn. Learned. Ride. Road. Read. Read. Win. Won. Sleep. Slept. One. He acted in a play when he was on vacation. Two. She learned how to dive when she was on vacation. Three. He rode a roller coaster when he was on vacation. Four. She read a lot of books when she was on vacation. Five. He won a competition when he was on vacation. Six. She slept late when she was on vacation. Page 5. D. Listen, ask, and answer. Then practice. What did she do when she was on vacation? She acted in a play. 1. What did she do when she was on vacation? She acted in a play. 2. What did he do when he was on vacation? He slept late. 3. What did she do when she was on vacation? She won a competition. 4. What did he do when he was on vacation? He learned how to dive. 5. What did she do when she was on vacation? She rode a roller coaster. 6. What did he do when he was on vacation? He read a lot of books. Page 6. Lesson 2. Feelings. A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Relaxed. 
Two. Nervous. Three. Confident. Four. Shy. Five. Wide awake. Six. Sleepy. Page six. B. Listen and say. Then practice. I felt relaxed, but he felt nervous. One. I felt relaxed, but he felt nervous. Two. I felt nervous, but she felt relaxed. Three. I felt confident, but she felt shy. Four. I felt shy, but he felt confident. Five. I felt wide awake. But he felt sleepy. Six. I felt sleepy, but she felt wide awake. Page seven. C. Listen, ask, and answer. Then practice. How did you feel when you rode a roller coaster? I felt relaxed, but she felt nervous. One. How did you feel when you rode a roller coaster? I felt relaxed, but she felt nervous. Two. How did you feel when you rode a roller coaster? I felt nervous, but he felt relaxed. Three. How did you feel when you learned how to dive? I felt wide awake, but she felt sleepy. Four. How did you feel when you learned how to dive? I felt sleepy, but he felt wide awake. Five. How did you feel when you acted in a play? I felt confident, but he felt shy. Six. How did you feel when you acted in a play? I felt shy, but she felt confident. Page seven, skills, listening and speaking. D, listen, then answer the questions. One. What did you do on vacation, Brooke? I went to the amusement park with my sister. We rode a roller coaster. How did you feel? I felt nervous, but my sister felt relaxed. How did Brooke feel when she rode a roller coaster? Two. Ben took pictures for a photography competition. He felt confident he could win. His favorite picture won the competition. How did Ben feel about the competition? Three. Hi Beth. Hi Max. How was swimming class? It was great. I felt wide awake. How did you feel, Beth? I felt sleepy. I stayed up too late. How did the girl feel when she went to swimming class? Four. Kelly and Will acted in a play. Kelly felt confident, but Will felt shy. How did Will feel when he acted in a play? Page eight, lesson three, reading. A. Talk about the story, then listen and read. The surfing lesson. Mike and Julie are at the beach on Saturday morning. It's hot and sunny. Julie is swimming in the water when she sees a woman giving surfing lessons. Mom, can I take a surfing lesson? asks Julie. Sure, says her mom. You and Mike can take one together. Julie runs over to Mike. Come on, Mike," she says. "Let's learn how to surf." Julie is confident, but Mike is shy. He's afraid of the water. He feels nervous about surfing. "No thanks," says Mike. "I'd rather play video games." 
Julie wants Mike to relax and have fun, but she can't make him go in the water. Just then, they hear a loud beep. The screen on Mike's game is black, and the battery is dead. Oh no, says Mike. My game! Come surfing, Mike, says Julie. You can do it. Mike looks at the water and feels more confident. They go surfing and have a great time. Mike is really good at surfing. Page 9. C. Sing. Let's learn how to surf. Come on, come on, let's learn how to surf. Sounds fun. Good idea. I'm tired of playing video games. Let me get my swimsuit. Let's learn how to surf. Come on, come on, let's learn how to surf. Come on, come on, let's learn how to surf. Come on, come on, let's learn how to ski. No thanks, I'm sorry. I'd rather play video games. Come on, you can do it. Let's learn how to ski. Okay, okay. Let's learn how to ski. Okay, okay. Let's learn how to ski. Page 9. D. Listen and say. Then act. Come on, let's learn how to surf. No thanks, I'd rather play video games. Okay. Come on, let's learn how to surf. Sounds fun. I'm tired of playing video games. Great. Page 10. Lesson 4. Travel and trade. A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Silk. 2. Goods. 3. Difficult. 4. Ruler. 5. Return. 6. Become famous. Page 10. B. Listen and read. Marco Polo and the Silk Road. The Silk Road is over 2,000 years old and 6,000 kilometers long. It goes across Europe and Asia. Many people traveled on this road to buy and sell silk and other goods. Marco Polo traveled on the Silk Road when he was 17, in the year 1271. He traveled from Italy to China and saw many new things. The days were very hot and the nights were cold. Sometimes there was no food or water. It was a difficult road to travel on, but Marco felt confident. He traveled on the Silk Road for three years. When he was 21, Marco met the ruler of China, Kublai Khan. He lived in China for the next 17 years. Marco returned to Italy when he was 41. He met the writer Rusticello, who wrote a book called The Travels of Marco Polo. Many people read this book and Marco became famous. Marco lived to the age of 70. You can still see his house in Italy today.